Hi, this is Alfred Ferdell, and today I want to speak about mindfulness and how we use mindfulness in the things that we hear. Um, everything that we listen to, all the things around us, every noise that we hear, the sounds of birds, the sounds of rain, or a thunderstorm, or a jackhammer, or whatever things, honking horns, they all um, elicit emotions from us. And we evaluate what it is that we're hearing. So if you hear a sound, it can be something that brings a good emotion to you, a positive emotion, or something that brings you a negative emotion. This is also something that we hear in music. A lot of songs are um, composed in a certain key because fundamentally it may elicit a, a, uh, an emotion or a feeling for the composer of that particular piece of music or whoever writes that song. So that's why you would pick the key that you wrote the song in. So today I want to go through some of the Native American flutes that I have and go down the scale and play a simple song uh, with each of these flutes going down the scale. Uh, now, all of these flutes are very different and they're made from different woods and you can hear the difference in the sound of the wood. And um, you can also hear the sound in terms of the pitch and you can hear the sound of, of uh, the warmth of the, of the instrument itself uh, and be, you know, because of how wide the bore may be or because of the way that the wood resonates or be, because of the way that whoever was the flute maker uh, tuned it may have had a certain uh, tuning in mind. Uh, not everybody uh, tunes exactly the same even though you may have a tuner, uh, there's always a little bit of, uh, of, of, of a variable uh, in, in how we tune. Uh, so generally people tune to an A440 and that's considered concert tuning. But uh, you know, when you do things by hand, it can, can vary a little bit, even if you use a tuner. All of these flutes are made by hand and uh, some of them are Native American flutes, which means that they're made by a enrolled tribe member. Uh, and some of them are Native American style flutes, which are flutes that are made from a non-Native or someone who is not enrolled in a tribe. And uh, they, uh, they, they can be a five finger flute or a six finger flute. And, uh, and so, but they're basically pretty much uh, the same. Uh, and you know, each, each maker has an idea of how they want their flute to sound. So uh, I want you to sit back and listen, and I will um, describe each flute that I'm going to play uh, before I play it. And then I'll play the song, and I'll play the same song for all of the flutes so that you can get a sense of each. So uh, I want you to close your eyes, listen to the sound of the flute, and think to yourself, what does it make you feel? And uh, how do you feel about the sound? Do you like it or whether you don't? Uh, does it make you feel um, um, anxious or does it make you feel relaxed? Uh, does it make you feel happy? Does it make you feel sad? And uh, a lot of it has to do uh, with the song itself, but you know, listen, listen to the the sound of the flute, and and uh, make that that uh, connection uh, to it, so that you can be mindful of how the sound of the flute and the song affects you. So here we go. So the first one that I'm going to pull out of here is a flute by um, Butch Hall. And Butch Hall uh, is based out of Texas. This is a small flute. This is a B minor flute. And I've actually changed the, 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 the bird because I didn't like the one that it came with. 
this was another another block that I had or bird the the top piece is called a bird um, that that I had lying around and it seems for me it seems to to play a little bit better so let's hear how it sounds Okay, so that was a flute in the key of B minor. The next flute, oh, and that's made out of aromatic cedar. The next flute that I'm going to play is made out of birch. And this is a flute, uh, this is called a, um, a uh, first hawk flute, which is uh, the... the uh, the beginner flute that High, High Spirits makes. It's in the key of A. And this is a special edition. It's made out of birch. Birch is a hardwood, so you'll hear there's a different sound to it. Tell me what you think. So that is a High Spirits first hawk in the key of A minor. These are all in minor keys. And uh, so I want you to look at this flute. This is the next one. This is made by Stellar Flutes. They're out on the West Coast. I, I think they're in Washington. And this is made of uh, Western cedar from the forests of Washington. And uh, this is also a traditional Native American style flute with a bird on the top, you know. And um, let's hear what this one sounds like.
and that's in the key of G minor. Let's go to the next flute. See if I can find it here. Hmm. Where did that? Where did I put that one? Ah. Okay. So here's the next flute. This is a Native American style flute that is made by uh, a guy by the name of I think Richard Maynard, and he's out of Tucson, Arizona. And his flutes are unique because he has uh, a cut off. Uh, um, end to the flute kind of looks like a uh, an exhaust um, and if you notice this one is a little bit wider than the others that we played and um, has a very different sound and this one's made out of redwood so you've had birch you've had western cedar you've had aromatic cedar and now you have one made out of redwood so let's try this one it's a little cold in here, so the flutes are a little finicky right now. Here we go. And that's an F sharp minor flute. So we're going down the scale, progressively going down the scale. So let's go to the next one. The next one, if I can find it, is an E minor flute. And this one is um, in canary wood. I don't know quite what's on here. Uh, I think there's some rings on here. And the bird is made out of purple heart. Uh, my wife says this is a really pretty flute. Um, I don't know. <laughs> I'm blind, so I have, haven't a clue. Um, but I know uh, how it sounds, and that's what's important to me. So anyways, um, let's hear how this sounds, E minor. And this flute is made by Mad Max, and he's out of Mesa, Arizona. And uh, this is a Native American style flute. So um, anyways, so that's, that's that flute. That's the key of E minor. So let's move on. Um, 
Next flute is a beautiful flute. Um, this one is made by Charlie at Blue Bear Flutes. I think he's out of Alabama. And this one is uh, one of the five finger flutes that I told you about. This one's made out of aromatic cedar. Uh, and this is a two-piece flute. It's made in two halves, and then it's glued together. And a lot of the flutes, uh, the traditional style is to board them out in, in, in half and to glue them together. Uh, a lot of the modern flute makers are actually using a gun drill to drill the hole and then, uh, and then creating the flute that way with one piece. But each one sounds different, and uh, I want to hear what you think about this one. So here we go. And that's in the key of D minor. And uh, it's, once again, it's the aromatic cedar. And the last one that I'm going to play is actually really not a Native American flute. It is actually more like a Native American whistle. You notice that the, something is missing here. There's no block on here. And it's kind of very short. Usually there's a slow air chamber in it. But uh, the good thing, this Messages is... Messages now. Flute. Plus one, two, zero, one. Hi, Alfred. Thank you for the description. I just reached out to Joni to gauge your interest, and she is definitely interested in teaching a fitness class. She sent messages now. Sorry about that. Um, I I am I'm visually impaired, so the um, the phone that I'm using sometimes will will deliver messages, uh, even though I may shut it off. <laughs> Anyways, so back to what I was saying. This is a spirit flute by High Spirits Flute. And it's actually more of a whistle than it is a flute. You notice it's got a really wide bore. It's about an inch and a half, if you can see that. And this one is made out of Spanish cedar. And the holes are a little bit bigger uh, than the other flutes. And it's a little bit, uh, it, it makes it easier to play because the holes are closer to, you, to your mouth. Whereas, <laughs> hold on a second, second time. Um, anyways, so um, the holes are a little bit wider and uh, they, they are a lot more difficult to cover. But I'll go ahead and try to, to play the same thing that I've been playing on this. And uh, just uh, close your eyes again. Sorry for the interruptions. Close your eyes again and, and listen to the sound of this flute.
that's that's the whole scale going down going down the scale from from B minor all the way to C minor. And so now that you've listened to all these flutes and uh, and you've heard what they sound like, in the comments, tell me what you think about the sound of the flutes and how they make you feel and what things come to mind when you hear the sounds of these flutes and you know what things do you imagine when you close your eyes when you hear the sound of these flutes. It's kind of a, a very um, uh, kind of cerebral exercise, but I think it's interesting because you can apply that to everything around you. You can apply that to the things that you eat, how you taste things, how you hear things, what you see, you know, what you feel. And uh, that way you can be m more mindful around of the surroundings around you. So once again, I'm Alfred Friedel. I hope you enjoyed this journey through different uh, t uh, tonal landscapes and different, uh, different uh, sounds from each of these flutes. And tell me what you liked in the comments. And as always, please, Subscribe to my channel uh, for more information about coaching, uh, wellness, and, uh, and health rhythms, and just general music and flute, uh, Native American flute playing. All right, thanks a lot. Bye-bye.